Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 27 November. It's the Wednesday of the Thanksgiving week. I don't know what happened to the first video. It's all it's all crooked. So we're just going to do a quick video here. There's not much to say today. The European morning should be quiet. A couple of things on our mind uh, after being stopped out in stocks last night. We're square. Uh, as far as new ideas this week, we will be looking at this sterling tonight. There's a YouGov poll that will be released at the end of the at the end of the trading day. Uh, this will be a binary trade. If Corbin gets a bigger share, we sell cable. If Boris widens his lead, we might buy cable, but we'll probably lay off that side of the trade. This is more. This is more about whether Corbin's getting closer or not, and we'll find out today, uh, 11 p.m. Swiss time, end of the day. Elsewhere, uh, we're talking about this Aussie yen chart. It's pretty nice, this little daily upward sloper. You have GDP and durable goods out today, plus you also have personal income. So these might create some volatility. Uh, 2.30 p.m. Swiss time. These are the New York numbers released 8.30 a.m. Uh, out of the U.S. on the East Coast. Keep an eye on this trend line. If you're risk on, you want to buy as close to this trend line as possible. Uh, if you're risk off, you want to sell through this trend line. Dollar yen could be a runner today. Not too many people are long this thing. And if you get a really good number and you break through 109.50, uh, there is some sort of clear air up there. Very, very difficult to see how this could possibly happen in a in a vol scenario where we have euro dollar vol below five. Uh, but nonetheless, we have to be prepared, even if we end up doing nothing. Preparation is the key. So open your mind uh, and be ready for this in case it's a boomer or in case we snap out of this lull um, in vol. Not much else to say really. I mean we got this dollar Swiss. We talked about it. We think there's going to be sellers at parity. We think there's sellers in Euro Swiss at 110 as well. Um, not much to say on this. Stocks. We can just look at this just won't go down. We thought this four hourly bar yesterday was going to be capitulation. Obviously it's not. Um, short stocks, not the way. Selling low ones, especially not the way. So avoid that. And I guess the Aussie chart will just pull it up. 67, 67 is worth a look. Um, just throwing it out there again. G7 vol is so low, you don't want to like you know, take a big swing at this, but this is now a triple bottom, uh, 10 points away, so worth keeping an eye on. All right, listen, uh, not really much to sink our teeth into. There's absolutely zero to sink our teeth into here in, in Europe this morning, so get some rest, maybe get some fitness. Uh, we will see you for the numbers coming out of New York. And then again, at the end of the day, to, to see if this YouGov poll moves sterling. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. I won't drag this out. Good luck out there. Make some dough. Go ahead. You deserve it. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow.